Okay, so you've finished building your brand new printer. You've loaded up the default profiles and installed the firmware, and you've just printed your very first calibration cube. However, your corners aren't looking too hot. In today's video, I will show you how to tune your pressure advanced settings for Clipper. So what is pressure advance? In short, it is adjusting the flow of filament to adjust for different speeds and accelerations, particularly when going into and out of direction changes, such as corners. Tuning pressure advance leads to sharper corners, less oozing, and also less blobs and zits when you start and stop a new layer. And with Clipper, you can do this with some built-in commands and in one print. And I will show you how. So to tune your pressure advance, you are going to have to print an object. In this case, we are going to print a hollow cube. Now any square model will work, but we are gonna be using this STL found on the Clipper GitHub, as it also has some inner corners as well. And we are gonna to have to slice this in a specific way. So for your layer height, you are going to want to slice this at a 75% of your nozzle diameter uh, layer height. So since we are using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, we are going to slice this at 0.3 millimeter layer height. Uh, the amount of walls don't really matter, so we'll just go for two. And then we're going to turn off infill. And then for speeds, we want to print at a consistent speed of around 100 millimeters per second. So I'm just going to go through and set all printing speeds other than first layer to 100 millimeters per second. And then we are going to slice and save this. So before we print that STL, we will need to input some commands into the terminal. So the first one here is the set velocity limit square corner velocity one, acceleration 500. And what this does is set a nice slow acceleration into our corners throughout the print. And this is used to emphasize the effects of extruder pressure. And then the next one here depends on your setup. In a uh, Bonin or a direct feed setup, you will have a slightly different command here. Since this is a direct feed printer, we will be using this first one here. And what this is setting is how often the pressure advance setting changes. So in this case, it will change by a factor of 0.005. On a Bowden setup, you are gonna to want to increase that to 0.020, as with Bowden, you will need higher pressure advanced settings. So we're gonna input that first value there, and then we are going to print our cube. our printed test cube. So as you can see, you will have a portion of too little pressure advance and a portion of too obviously much pressure advance. So with this cube, we're going to pull out our vernier and we are going to measure essentially where the Goldilocks zone is. So when you look, you will see a portion of too little pressure advance and then too much and then a spot in between where it looks good. And we are going to measure where that spot is. And depending on your printer and the filament you use and the temperatures, this will be different. But in this case right here, we're looking at about 19.7-ish millimeters. Now, if you're having trouble deciding what is the exact perfect measurement, error on the side of too little pressure advance than too much pressure advance. So we're gonna go for roughly right around that point is what our ideal pressure advance number will be. So then once we have our measurement, we are going to have to do a little bit of math. And for the math, it's relatively simple. Pull up your calculator here. 
So we started at a zero pressure advance setting, and then we decided on 19.7 millimeters, and then times 0.005, as that was how often we changed our value. And that gives us a pressure advance setting of 0 0.0985. And then we take that value there, we open our text editor, and we edit our configuration to match that. So go to your extruder section, and under pressure advance, input the value that you got for your pressure advance setting. And save. And that is how, with some easy built-in commands and one print, you can tune your pressure advance so your cubes go from having bulged edges to having nice, clean, crisp edges. Now, no other tuning has been done on this printer yet other than default configs and a few tweaks to slicer settings. So there's no acceleration or anything tuned yet, but this is simply a comparison between no pressure advanced tuning and proper pressure advanced tuning for this filament. So as you can see, it does make a marked improvement, especially on the edges. We no longer have that bulge there anymore. And it's very simple, it's very quick, and it should be one of the first things you do when you build a printer. And be aware, when you change filament types, you may have to retune your pressure advanced setting for different plastics. So I hope this video has been helpful. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to like. And if you would like to see more content such as this, feel free to subscribe as well. Thank you, and have a great day. Thank you.